It's time for our seen and unseen segment, where we expose what's really behind the big cultural stories of the day. All right, we kick off today's edition with something so ridiculous that it has to be seen to believe. This is a candidate for Congress making a complete buffoon of himself and a desperate bid for votes. Here to fill us in, Fox News contributor, author of the, author of the New York Times, best-selling author of the Will Wilder series, Raymond Arroyo. All right, who is this guy? His name is Levi Tillman, yeah. and he's a Democrat from Colorado. He feels Congress has been talking over each other. In regard to school safety, Past the Trump other. administration would like to arm teachers. Tillman has a different approach, and he demonstrates it. Empower schools and teachers with non-lethal self-defense tools like this can of pepper spray. Trust me, this will stop anyone in their tracks. It's incredibly painful, and now I just can't see anything. Wow, that's intense. For less than $1 per person in the U.S., we can have a secured canister of pepper spray in every classroom in America. It's just unbearable. It's like lava in your eyes. The ad is like lava in your eyes. This man, this, I mean, okay. thank God he's not a I, wild game advocate. He'd be setting off bear traps and bleeding all over he the looks forest. Like, no, he looks like a, he was waterboarding himself. He, I'm like, what is this? I mean, you, at the you, end of it, I wanted to spray myself with pepper spray just so I didn't have to watch it. I this think anymore. we should call him and produce a new show, Candidate versus the World. He could just do stunts like this uh, protest oh, no, climate this change good. by breathing in carbon monoxide. He could you know, drink toilet and then water. And then they to say that the, the they thing. say that the, the a certain type of black spider is, is, is on the endangered but species, so I'm living with them. For here the they are. Here they are. Here's the big question. That's stupid. How can you trust the judgment of a man who does but something But is he, like gonna, is he actually going to be, is he a candidate? He's a candidate, Democratic candidate for a House seat in Colorado. Disturbing. All right, what is going on with the, uh, the Bishop of Tucson? Well, the Catholic bishops are meeting this week in Florida, and they lamented the Trump administration's new asylum rules, particularly those separating children from families entering the country illegally. Now, at one point, the bishop Bishop of Tucson, Arizona, as you mentioned, Edward Weissenberger, seemed to morally equate those enforcing the border with people committing abortions. He's speaking what? here about border security that takes the part in separating families. Watch. In light of the canonical penalties that are there for life issues, I'm simply asking the question if perhaps our canonical affairs committee could give recommendations, at least to those of us who are border bishops, on the possibility of canonical penalties for Catholics who are involved in this. For the salvation of these people's souls, maybe it's time for us to look at canonical penalties. Maybe it's time for you to read canon law. Well, can canonical penalties... What is penalty, he talking about? Well, canonical about? penalties mean rescinding communion and the sacraments They don't Catholics. do that for people. They don't do that for politicians well, that uh, advocate for abortion. I got Thank a you very call much. this afternoon from some ICE and border security guys. I said, when Nancy Pelosi, Biden, and Schwarzenegger get their letters of excommunication, then you can worry. But remember, the Catholic Catechism says those new to an adoptive country must respect the laws, laws of, that of the country. country. None Thank of you. us want families divided. No. I think it's an awful thing. But we have to come up with policies that don't incentivize people to send their children alone across the border. That's what's happening now. But look, people of faith, Catholics, they should be advocating for family unity in their home country and here. Yeah, do it, do it legally, but if and you, orderly. If you, you walk across the border process. illegally, you know, it's not going to work for you. All right, now, what does God look like? What Raymond? does God look like? Right, a university, 60 seconds. What does God look like? Of, Notre, uh, of North Carolina did a study, 511 Americans. This is what they think God looks like. Wait, wait a second. They were, this, that looks like one of the guys in the control room in New York. Does he, that look like it, so it's, who is it's that? Nick Robertson? He's basically it's a Nick. nice white guy. I no, mean, that's what they came much, up with. He has so, too much hair for Nick. What the, the researchers found oh, is that people tend to that. project their image and their beliefs onto their image of God. Now, I thought, what would we, how would we define God? So I came up with my own images. How These would, are my two how would he pics. Look like? what, what this is what God I think God like? might look like. And Frank Sinatra and John Houston in The Greatest Story. What? Oh. Frank Sinatra? <laughs> well, I want a God that sings well. So, oh, come now on. you had your picks. Who were? My picks are Burt Lancaster. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Charlton Heston, which is really good. But Charlton Heston plays Moses there. I know, of but course, he looks like God the Father. That's I like God. That. Yeah, that seems like God. God can't look Fatherly. like the God can't look like the kid in the Apple commercial, no. like the Mac versus PC. No, no, I don't that's who the God. That's like a millennial thing, right? He's got God has skinny jeans, and a man soy bun, milk. and he's a soy boy. <laughs> God's a soy boy. No, no. I don't think so. We want a God with some authority and gravitas and a father. But I think we can both agree God does not look like this. These two. George Burns. Even though they played him to great effect. And acclaim. Morgan Freeman. I never bought either of them I as God. I kind of like Morgan Freeman as God. Well, you know. but George Good Burns. Good voice. You want soul. God to sound like the God, that. George Burns movie was hilarious. Yeah, but you don't want God to sound like that. No, God doesn't smoke. Absolutely not. No, I hope not. Uh, not where I'm going. Not the God I want to see. No, no smoking allowed. No, we know flames. Uh -uh. Where we're going. We hope. Pray, bye for, bye. pray for us.